Viewer discretion is advised. today <laughs> it's gonna be a lot all right it's gonna be a lot i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be a lot because today we are taking on the crypto bros and the crypto queens <laughs> okay look i don't want to have to cross paths with them either but sometimes you have to do it okay because Cryptocurrency is becoming very, very big, as we all know. I've always been sort of just wary of crypto just because it is something that is used to facilitate a lot of scams, okay? So I understand that it's like Bitcoin, 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 hold the line to the moon, all of that stuff. And there is money to be made in all of that stuff. But unfortunately, sometimes the benefits of cryptocurrency are sometimes outweighed by the frequency that cryptocurrency is used to facilitate scams. Today, we are gonna unearth one of those scams. In today's video, we are gonna discuss a new crypto-related MLM pyramid scheme called iGenius. And this company is far from being genius, let me just say. There's a lot of geniuses behind the scenes, okay? <laughs> it's got a storied history. The reason why we're looking at iGenius is because later in the video, we're gonna be watching a reality TV show that has been self-produced by the iGenius crypto queens, known as WFAB, okay? It's a girl group. They don't sing. They don't dance, they trade crypto. So we'll get into it. So anyway, before we start watching this reality TV show, which by the way, a lot of people ask me to react to and watch, we need to talk about why this is a big scam. And we need to like take it all the way back to the beginning of iGenius. There's a lot at play here. This is a multifaceted scam, and I need you to understand how this is maybe one of the biggest scams that I've ever seen in my life, and exactly why before we start to watch this video. Because once you watch, once you understand, like, okay, this is bad. Like, this thing that they're pushing is bad. It makes this whole reality show, like, 10 times worse, okay? And by the way, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Especially this video, because people really need to know about this one, because this is a relatively new one. I can see people falling for this, okay. So basically, iGenius provides education and AI tools to help people learn about trading cryptocurrency, Forex, which is foreign exchange currency, and basically like stocks, okay? The company is a subsidiary of InvestView, which is actually a publicly traded company in Utah. Now, this is important because publicly traded companies are subject to stricter rules and regulations that private companies are not subject to, okay? So trust me, it's gonna be a big thing later on in the video. iGenius affiliates love to talk about how they are a subsidiary and they are affiliated with this company called InvestU, which is publicly traded. And they try to pass it off as like, this is a more legitimate business because we are connected to a publicly traded business which has extensive regulations and therefore we are legit by proxy. Not the case. Oh, so not the case. I don't want to give everything away. But every person involved in this is a scammer top to bottom for multiple years, okay? Let me just give you a teeny little taste of how much of a scam that iGenius is. Their parent company, InvestView, which is publicly traded, their former CEO was just arrested in November of 2021 on charges of conspiracy to commit multiple counts of fraud in connection with a securities fraud claims scheme. He and two other acquaintances, he had two buddies working with him, um, they collected approximately $40 million, which they went and spent on jewelry, boats, houses, home renovations. Oh, and he spent some money on hmm, his private Caribbean island. <laughs> he got all this money because he was making false recovery claims in securities, class action lawsuits, and like SEC settlement cases and things like that. So he was pretending to be clients. He would make up like fake people and then get 
claims claiming damages or you know things like that from all these class action settlement cases and there was it wasn't really even real people so very shady behavior obviously and he was just arrested in november of 2021 so it was not that long ago he faces up to 20 years in prison okay and his court date is actually for october 17 2022 by the way this is what all people who are truly innocent do on march 14th 2022 he tried to flee the country <laughs> okay and he was caught so basically yeah like really great guy really cool guy definitely not doing anything wrong so does it sound reputable yet you tell me okay that's the former ceo of investview that's who's leading the troops really good really good and by the way that's like the big legit publicly traded company iGenius was formerly known as wealth generators that was the first name that they went by okay and then there was a whole bunch of problems with that and then they rebranded to Kuvera global and then they rebranded again because they're totally innocent and they're not trying to hide anything definitely not they rebranded to i genius okay they did that as of january 2021 very 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 recently it's a very new mlm opportunity even though they've kind of been at this for many many years so before we even discuss iGenius, we need to take it all the way back to the beginning okay the wealth generator days you guys need to understand this to understand what a colossal mess this company is okay so basically they're a now defunct stock and like forex trading mlm it functioned just as a typical MLM where the affiliates would recruit people to use the platform and then they would make commissions off of any sales or anybody that signed up. Any future affiliates that signed up, they would make a commission. Classic MLM. In 2018, the CFTC, which is the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, an agency that regulates the US derivatives market and aims to reduce like abusive and fraudulent behavior okay they were on the case in 2018 okay because they find wealth generators one hundred and fifty thousand dollars because they failed to register their forex trading services that they were providing to their affiliates basically when you fail to register that you're providing a specific kind of service like this you are in violation of the commodity exchange act so the cftc found wealth generators software to be abusive and fraudulent because it basically asked the affiliates to link their account to the wealth generators platform and they would basically execute trades for the affiliates this is illegal because not only were they not authorized or qualified <laughs> to provide this service but they also evaded conveniently the commission regulation so then in 2018 wealth generators rebranded as kuvera global now a lot of people are speculating that they did this because of the bad press and because of the cftc fine and i kind of believe that so basically they abandoned their illegal forex trading service and then they adopted a new passive roi cloud mining service where affiliates would invest up to five thousand dollars for an advertised 1200 roi per day so you remember that thing i was saying earlier about being a subsidiary of a publicly traded company well because of that they are required to register this cloud mining service with the sec and what do you think they did they didn't <laughs> okay they didn't do it by not registering this with the sec they were committing essentially securities fraud okay so i'm going to explain a little bit more about that in a second so here is how the cloud mining service worked basically the affiliates like the mlm distributors would invest in a graphics card from Kuvera. okay so they were buying in to get like a graphics card Kuvera would then set it up and manage it on their behalf this card would then generate passive return on investment and was advertised as sort of like a set it and forget it opportunity the cards were said to be mining ethereum which is a very 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 popular cryptocurrency the graphics cards were then used in a host mining facility in romania okay so you're buying the graphics card and then the graphics card is put and used to mine ethereum in romania so this part's juicy in my opinion so here's how we found out that they were committing securities fraud because internet sleuths discovered thanks to the ethereum blockchain which basically the if i could simplify what a blockchain is 
It's kind of like a database of like all the transactions. You cannot go in and like tamper with them. They all have like their own digital fingerprint. So you kind of, it has more transparency of this got traded here, this is going here, and this is like where all of this stuff is in the stratosphere basically. That's how I would describe it. It's definitely a lot more going on than that, but that's just how I'm gonna explain it. So thanks to the Ethereum blockchain, Vera was secretly depositing all funds into an account called Kuvera Pool. So they saw it on the blockchain that it was all going into Kuvera Pool, okay? So this is interesting because it means that Kuvera lied. And they said originally that they were doing everything on an individual mining contract basis. They weren't. The reason why that they were saying that they were doing an individual mining contract situation is because they were trying to avoid being classified as a common enterprise, okay? I'll tell you about that in a second. Instead of doing individual contracts, they were pooling all the money into one account and they were using that money to pay off investors. So here's why the lie matters. According to the Howey test, it would qualify these transactions as investment contracts. Basically, if you're an investment contract, you're therefore considered a security and securities are subject to US security laws. People that like to scam, like they don't like to have their stuff be subject to the proper rules and regulations. Why? Because it's a scam, it's abusive, it's fraudulent. It kind of speaks for itself. So basically, in short, Kuvera was actively committing securities fraud by not registering their passive ROI cloud mining products with the SEC. So here's the thing where things get really crazy. In 2018, Kuvera suddenly stopped their return on investment payments claiming that Ethereum was no longer profitable to mine and that they wouldn't be mining it anymore. And sorry, there's no alternative coins we can mine with your products. We're just not gonna do anymore. So we're gonna suspend all of our um, ROI payments. Here's what's even crazier. They also suspended the withdrawals, okay? So if anybody had made any money, let's just say an affiliate had already made money using this passive ROI system, okay? It's already been earned. No one could withdraw that money that was already there and already earned. Completely, no access to it anymore. This would only really be the case if there are no funds to pay out in the first place. Like basically, that's why they couldn't honor the withdrawals is because there's no money to give out to the affiliates. There's no money to distribute. Basically then, Kuvera just blamed everything that was happening on Westman LLC, which is a mining contractor, like mining equipment contractor, who had then contracted with another company out of Romania, which was the mining service provider. So they pawned it off on both of those two companies and said like, this, they caused this. Here's what's even crazier. The mining service provider that was running the mining facility out of Romania was owned by Silviu Balak, who was arrested in connection with a $722 million Ponzi scheme. What? The Ponzi scheme was called BitClub Network. Kuvera basically said like, we reached out to Westman and we didn't hear anything back. So therefore like, we don't know where your equipment is. We can't even get an answer from them. That's what they claimed, right? If it's hard to follow, let me simplify the chain of events because it's so juicy, it's so wild, it's so crazy. I have to do it. Here we go. Kuvera got the investments from the affiliates, okay, for the passive ROI cloud mining service, okay? So they secured the investments from all the affiliates, all the people that signed up. That's where the money is coming from. They then took that money and invested it with Westman LLC, which was the mining equipment company that, you know, provided the graphics cards. Okay, so then Westman took that investment and they reinvested it in the mining service provider out of Romania, which was run by criminal Silvio Balak. Then Balak took that money and he used it to scam people in the big bit club network scam. Okay, so that was like the whole chain of events is like, here, your money went from here to here to here to here and all of it was used to like pay back investor funds. But here's what's more nuts. You know how they said, hey, we reached out to them and we can't get your stuff back? Well, it turns out there was no mining equipment to recover in the first place. So there was nothing even out there for them to recover. In true Ponzi scheme fashion, the funds were just being used to pay back investors. You're probably wondering, okay, like, well, what happened to the people that invested into Kuvera, like the affiliates, all that stuff? As far as we know, no one ever saw their money again, <laughs> like at all. Kuvera simply chalked up their failure to 
somebody else's mistake, which is very nice. <laughs> okay, very nice. So all of this brings us to iGenius. Okay, so by the way, still the same company, a lot of the same people, but now we're at iGenius, okay? So Kuvera rebranded once again, January 2021 to iGenius. That's the current company. Now they keep rebranding, but not a whole lot's changing. Who's surprised? Nobody. Um, but the iGenius president, Chad Garner, who's the current president right now, he kind of likes to pretend that he's like a new fresh face and that all the bad people are out of the business and they're all gone. And all the schemers, the liars, the whatever are all gone. I want to address head on that I've seen in some of these videos that I've heard kind of floating around is that, you know, we were, we were legally forced to change our name because we had like scammed people out of money and, and something had happened that, that the government like said like, oh, you better change your name or we had to do it to like hide behind something. So let's be really clear. All right. So the, the company has been around for, you know, like over six years. Um, you know, we have, we have reinvented ourselves a couple of times. Uh, you know, like four or five years ago, the company was called um, Wealth Generators, right? And, you know, in an, in an effort to improve the, you know, the branding and, and really kind of uh, create new excitement. And ultimately, you know, that, that name was uh, just not a really good name, to be honest with you. The company changed the name to Kuvera, and that was a branding change. That was, that was just a, basically a, a brand name change. Um, and then uh, in January of this year, the company changed from Kuvera to iGenius. But there was two really big differences between those changes. The WG change, the wealth generators change to Guevara was more of like just branding. It was more just like, hey, let's, we, we've got a new story. We want, we want to tell people, but um, much of the, you know, the decision makers and stuff like that were the same. The change from Kuvera to iGenius was basically a completely new company launch, right? So we, uh, the only thing that stayed the same was the, the company's tax ID number, but there was new people making decisions. You know, the old, the old decision makers had, had made quite a few, you know, like decisions that, that weren't good, you know, just speaking really openly. Um, so, so new people were in charge, uh, you know, new software, new products, a new compensation structure. Uh, and so it was, it, was a, it was a new company. And that's why the, the name was changed. It's not the same company. We literally started in January as far as on, on this journey with the, the people that are making the decisions with the products that we are offering. Completely fresh start. And it was a new company that was birthed in January of 2021. But he's actually been around since the wealth generator days. So he kind of likes to pass it off like, no, I'm brand new, like I'm, I'm good. He's been around, okay, he's been around. And a lot of them have been around. Conveniently, they keep kind of doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Same shit, different day. As I kind of mentioned earlier, iGenius is the subject of today's video because there's a new group, as I said, of former Mon 8 girls who have jumped ship from Mon 8. Wonder why they would do that. And now they're working for this new MLM crypto pyramid scheme called iGenius. Basically, here is how iGenius works. I'll go, I'll run through it as fast as I can possibly run through it. But iGenius educates you in three different ways. They say you do it manually through a database of educational videos from their experts. Okay. <laughs> Second, they do live trainings where you can watch one of their experts <laughs> trade live. And then you can kind of like copy their trades if you want to and see what they're doing and then like do the same trades as them and see what they're trading. Then the third way is they do push notifications that are sent to your phone. And the push notifications are expert driven trades for you to copy and paste into your own trading software. So you can basically copy the expert driven trades and execute them based on the experts. Okay. So here's what's really great. We're used to like $200 buy-in for Beachbody or, you know, $100 Mon 8, stuff like that. No, signing up for iGenius is as easy as spending $1,500. Oh wait, and then you have to spend $175 a month. Now, technically there are cheaper options to buy in, but of course those are not promoted because when you sign in at elite tier at $1,500, you get access to all the benefits and the perks that iGenius has to offer you. I don't know about you guys, but that's a lot of freaking money. $1,500 and then 175 a month? 175 a month. Now affiliates will let you know that don't worry that 175 is gonna be paid for um, and free 
free if you refer and keep four people. Now, that's not true because they just simply take it out of your commission. So, um, huh, okay. Which I saw when this guy revealed his back office. I, that's when I realized that that was like not 100% true, which is shocker. So basically you get a $200 referral bonus for anybody that you sign up at the $1,500 and then you get a $25 referral bonus per month for anybody that pays their subscription fee. So if somebody pays their $175 a month subscription fee on your team, you get $25 referral bonus every month. Now this is what I really love. <laughs> when you start to really crunch the numbers, because I feel like that's what gets people. I know I was mentioning it kind of in my last video, but you know, a lot of people are just not that good with money, so they wouldn't really realize how it's not as lucrative as an opportunity as people obviously spin it to be. Um, because in one video, there was an affiliate who was trying to like make the opportunity seem lucrative. And she was explaining that like, if you guys sign up 10 people under you, you would get $250 a month from the $25 a month referral bonus. So you sign up 10 people and they pay it every single month, you're gonna make $250 a month, which barely covers anything. And at the end of the year, it's gonna total $3,000 at the end of the year. So you'll have like a $3,000 bonus. She was like, I mean, what job is gonna give you a $3,000 bonus at the end of the year? Like, you know, this is $3,000 you're gonna get in total. You know, what's kind of funny is that she fails to mention that you also need to factor in your initial $1,500 investment. So you're only netting $1,500, you know, if you factor that in. So at the end of the year, $1,500 for keeping 10 people. And that's another thing I wanna bring up as well. She kind of makes it seem like it's easy to keep 10 people paying $175 a month. Guys, $175 a month is insane, insane. That is high. To get 10 people to do that, especially in this economy, to do $175 a month, no. No, it's not cheap and it's not necessary. So um, that would be extremely difficult. And then, you know, it's gonna be even more difficult when eventually people who are in iGenius eventually stumble across my video. They sober up and then they get out. So it's gonna be kind of hard to keep people once this video goes platinum, all right? They're gonna get the F out of there. I'm just gonna say that right now, okay? Let me just quickly discuss some of the MLM perks. Um, perks. You get a rank dependent 10 to 20% commission off of all the team sales, you know, of your downline, pretty classic, pretty standard. Um, and then as well, you have the opportunity to qualify for the 6X or the 12X qualifier multiplier pool. And that depends on if you sign up six or 12 plus people in one single month, which one, once again, that's a lot. You're signing up somebody $1,500 and they're going to pay the 175 a month. Like, it's a big investment. It's hard to get that many people to do that, in my opinion. So um, if you qualify for this bonus pool, you and the other people that have also qualified, basically you receive a bonus payment where you split evenly one to 3% of the monthly company-wide member fee volume, like the membership fee volume. So some months it could be high, some months it could be low, but they really pushed this. They're like, you're gonna make so much money in one month, right? Um, and they kind of market it as like, the perk is a percentage of the, the company's global sales, but it's really just the company-wide membership fee volume, like to become a member. So it's not really the same thing in my opinion. I feel like that's being a little bit dishonest, not even a little bit. It's being dishonest, you know, to say like global sales to me, two very different things. So we need to talk about these two things. Let's discuss some of the major selling points of iGenius. Now there's no products like physical products that you can hold that iGenius sells, okay? So it's all, the value's all in like the virtual, whatever. But one thing that you do get, ooh, very nice, is you get access to Endow, okay? N-D-A-U, Endow. Um, it's basically a shit coin, <laughs> a true, 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 true shit coin that is produced by a company called Onero. It's sort of like a third party affiliate partner with iGenius. Very suspicious, the totally unsurprising and not shocking element <laughs> 
in all of this is that the only purpose of Endo is through speculative investment by iGenius affiliates. So really only iGenius affiliates would care about this coin. Once you become an iGenius affiliate, you gain access to be able to purchase Endo at an exclusive <laughs> discounted price. You get a discounted price on Endo, which by the way, nobody outside of iGenius knows what the hell Endo is. So that's really, really great. Unsurprisingly, it has not generated much interest. <laughs> Why would it? So basically it's marketed as like a stable coin Okay, like the world's first stable, buoyant coin um, where investors are kind of like encouraged heavily to hold their coins and um, they also earn incentives the longer that they hold their coin and, you know, hold the line pretty much. Conveniently though, Endo did see a price increase right around the iGenius launch. Okay, so that's like pretty much the last time that there was like a major price increase where you're like, oh, something happened here. I wonder what that was. So yeah, they saw a big price increase then. My favorite, favorite, favorite part is that you have to purchase $1,000 worth of Endo in order to get started. Yes, it's true. It is true, you must purchase $1,000. Man, this is costing a lot. It's pretty clear to outsiders that this is, you know, nobody cares about Endo <laughs> like that. Um, they think it's gonna be the next Bitcoin, it's not. But the iGenius affiliates will try to sell Endo, like the Endo opportunity by claiming that their market experts are predicting that Endo is gonna be at $16,000 per coin in the next three years. Right, so you wanna take advantage of this right now. And I'm gonna explain a little bit more to you, but of course we get it cheaper right now than what the market price is. Being an, an iGenius member, so right now they're predict predicting that uh, if you hold in stake in Dow right now, it'll be a three year contract that you're gonna hold in Dow. They're predicting right now that in three years in Dow's price will be about 16,000 per coin. So let's get the calculator out and do a little math. Where is my calculator? Uh, there it is. All right, so if you were to buy, let's say $1,000 of Endow right now at the price of $15, and at let's just say 16,000 is a prediction right now, your $1,000 investment in three years would be worth a um, million dollars, a little over a million dollars. Um, yeah, okay. Not only has the price not gone up, in the last year since people were saying that in iGenius, but the price of Endow has actually gone down. <laughs> it's actually gone down lower than where it was at the time of the claims of that video, which was 2021. So of course though, don't worry, iGenius does pay you out commissions if you are able to sign up people for that $1,000 Endow package. So you do get a commission off that nice. Um, there's always something in it for you, for sure. Kind of hilariously, they offer protection plans where in five years you can get 50% of your initial buyback purchase. You can get 50% back, so you get $500 back. And then after 10 years, you can get 100% of that initial buyback. That's all if the, the price of the coin plummets, which, why would it plummet? It's a stable coin. It's the world's first buoyant coin. Just in case though, guys, you can sign up for a package if you want to get some insurance on your cryptocurrency. Well, here's what's really scary about this. And this is why I say cryptocurrency is used to facilitate scams <laughs> because inevitably when a regulator steps in and starts to investigate iGenius and all of their bad behavior, which we'll get to more of that in a second, that coin is going to be valueless and people are just going to be left with a bunch of endo. That's not worth much. So it's really scary because people are investing a lot of money in this coin, a lot of money. Like a lot of those iGenius affiliates believe that that thing is going to the moon <laughs> and it's not. <laughs> so the second really, really big, probably the biggest selling point of iGenius and why they want to sign everybody up at that like 
elite $1,500 tier is because they offer a passive ROI AI software and it's called Crypto Elite. So you get access to it when you sign up as an elite member at the $1,500. So basically the software executes and makes trades for you. So this gets a lot of people, this, this particular software, because I think that they kind of assume like, you know, most people, they just want to sit back. They don't know anything. So they're just like, leave it. I'll leave it in your hands. Kind of leave it up to the AI, AI software to make the trades for you. You don't have to think, you don't have to do anything. And that's just not how life works. It's almost like the definition of get rich quick in my opinion. So, okay. By the way, crypto elites, it requires a 10 to 15% fee of all funds invested using the crypto elite software. And it also takes 20 to 45% of all generated gains that you make using the software. Hmm. Okay. Um, hopefully you're making a lot because they're taking a lot, you know, of course, kind of like Endow where you get exclusive access and it really doesn't have any benefit except to iGenius affiliates and distributors. The same is kind of true with the crypto elite software. So you're really the only people that are using the software because if you want to use it and you're not an iGenius, you have to pay $125,000 a year to use this particular software. In my opinion, that's just in there to use as like a selling tactic and say like, look, this is for the rich and the famous. These are what big corporations use is this AI software. And by the way, that may be true, but that software is probably regulated and you know, people who made it are qualified. This is not the case. Um, so basically I think it's a selling tactic in my personal opinion. Obviously I don't believe that there's any company in the world that's paying for the crypto elite software besides iGenius. Um, and I, they've obviously partnered together for a common cause. Okay, so that's personally what I think. The company who's created Crypto Elite is called Endotech. It's the majorly shady company behind the now defunct AI MLM scheme called Daisy AI. So they were behind that hot mess. I mean, the site looks like somebody that has no clue. If you're making a tech software product, you probably know how to code a website and make it look nice. Not the case with this one. So the basic structure of Daisy AI, once again, very similar to the traditional MLM sort of recruitment structure. They would invite members to the Daisy AI platform where they would then gain access to a passive ROI AI type of system. Again, that software promised daily return on investment of 3%. So 3%, that's very unsustainable very unsustainable so unsustainable in fact that they're no longer around okay they they didn't they didn't last they are now out of business endotech however is very much still in business it's still around they have moved on from daisy ai to their next money making scheme which is obviously working with iGenius and doing the crypto elite software here's what makes the crypto elite software very very shady okay let's begin with the address drama okay address gate <laughs> or we could call it noon gate. So basically people were trying to find out what the address was for this company because any legit company is gonna have an actual address for their company, right? So people found one and they looked it up on Google Maps and it turned out to be a restaurant, a popular Israeli restaurant called Noon. So they weren't actually in that building, it was a fake address. So then when people started to confront Endotech and said like, hey man, this is a restaurant, where's your real address? They quickly removed that address that was in Israel. That's it. There's no new address. So there's no address, no phone number, no way to contact them, nothing. Eww. No one knows where they operate out of, which is red flag number 25 at this point of this video. I'm not sure. You have to wonder now if Endotech is offering a passive return on investment software, don't they have to register? their securities at that point to regulations. Why, yes, they do. Have they done that? Why, no, they have not. No, they have not. Of course, they haven't. Well, iGenius is once again affiliated with another securities fraud scheme. Another one. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, what's the problem with that? Whatever, who cares? Like, what about the crypto lead software? Wait a minute, guys, there's more. <laughs> Hey, there's more. There's absolutely no proof that there's a trading bot and there's no proof of any trading revenue. 
by Endotech. Um, in fact, Endotech is considered to be completely unregulated and is actually blacklisted in some countries. For example, Belgium's Financial Services and Markets Authority has issued a warning that Endotech specifically, they called them out by name, is in contravention with Belgian legislation because they're offering this fraudulent software to people that is unregulated. Also in this warning that they issued, they said avoid them at all costs, okay? Avoid them at all costs. And also, they also said avoid MLMs at all costs, which makes me kind of want to move to Belgium. <laughs> My grandparents actually used to live in Belgium, just saying. And they loved it. I might be next. You have to think now, if Belgium is already on Endotech's case, it shouldn't be long before a regulator steps in and basically causes Endotech to collapse because, you know, the securities fraud and all of this like shady behavior. At that point, if Endotech goes down, surely iGenius will follow after, you would assume, right? You would assume. That's the whole backstory on iGenius, okay? Fraudulent software, securities fraud, all, all this stuff, okay? We have a detailed history on this scheme or schemes, plural, because there's many at play here. Let's discuss a couple things about iGenius. So as we all know, MLMs are not money-making opportunities. We all know the statistic, 99% of people never turn a profit in an MLM. Words to live by. They are get-rich-quick schemes and they don't work. In my opinion, iGenius is a particularly dangerous MLM. It combines the abysmal success rates of MLMs with risky financial investments. As we know, crypto can be extremely volatile. If things change like the wind. It's just risky, it, it just is. And it's crazy because affiliates are encouraged to take any money that they've made in the business opportunity, which as we know, isn't very much, and take that money and then put it right back into Crypto Elite, which is a scam software, or Endow, which is a shitcoin affiliated with iGenius. So it's two things at play here that you're doing two different risky investments. You know, people who join MLMs are typically not very financially adept. That sort of passive ROI, allow us to trade for you, or um, here's what our experts say, just go ahead and copy our trades type of mentality or culture that surrounds iGenius is extremely expletive. In my opinion, what makes this MLM particularly dangerous is the sort of necessity that we have nowadays to diversify your money and your income. You do that by investing in stocks or in crypto, in Forex, you know, different kind of things like that. People are doing this, especially now, to get ahead of inflation. It is sort of a necessity in today's world to be investing and doing things in that world. So for many people, this is a really daunting task. And it's especially daunting if you don't have a mentor or somebody that you can trust who's gonna guide you towards financial success. iGenius aims to exploit those people who don't know very much about money, don't know very much about stocks, and probably don't have a whole lot of money to begin with. And finally, this MLM is way riskier than any other one that I've seen, just for the fact alone that they are embroiled with fraudulent activity. They have clearly very shady leadership, top to bottom, and they are quite literally at risk of collapse at any moment. The second a regulator steps in and sees what they're doing, it could be lights out for this company and for anybody that has invested money in this company, it could be over. We've seen it before. And here's what's even scarier. Like I said, they, they're at risk of collapse at any moment. How about this? iGenius was literally just subpoenaed in November, 2021 by the SEC for potential fraud. Okay, we haven't seen anything come of that yet, but I guarantee there's probably something coming and it probably was off the heels of the InvestView CEO getting arrested and they're probably gonna do a top to bottom search of this entire company and its subsidiaries. I guarantee something like that is probably gonna go down. So it's really, really risky. Once this happens though, a lot of people are gonna be left with a sack of valueless coins in Endo and then we'll probably be faced with catastrophic losses. All this to say, do not join this business opportunity. And I know that like for some people, and after hearing all of this, probably people are like, well, obviously not. 
Well, a lot of people probably don't know all of this stuff. They get told something by an iGenius affiliate or they, they think that they are gonna get true and real and good financial education, advice about stocks and no. None of that's gonna happen. So it's really, really, really risky. It, the stakes are higher than ever, especially with this one, okay? All of this <laughs> brings us to the iGenius Boss Babe Crypto Queens, known as WFAB. It stands for Work Anywhere Boss Babes, or business builders, or boss builders, or business bosses. No one's really sure. <laughs> This group of girls recently jumped ship from the popular Canadian MLM known as Monate, okay? You would know Monate from their several class action lawsuits involving hair loss, where everybody's losing their hair when they use the shampoo. It's basically a shampoo company that literally causes people to lose their hair. So there's that. Um, so they left that. And many of them were relatively actually high up at Monate. And uh, one of them even qualified for like the Monate Motor Club, which is like where you get a Cadillac if you recruit enough people to your downline and if you, you know, scam enough people basically. It's funny because she ended up giving this Cadillac to her mom and was like, I'm giving my mom her dream car. I gave her a fully paid for Cadillac. And of course that's a lie. It's like you really have to go through the fine tooth comb with some of these people because they just put in these little lies here and there. Because if you look at the, like the fine print of the Monate agreement with the Cadillac, you would know that it's not actually paid for fully. Like you have to hit that rank every single month in order to keep the Cadillac. Just as of like last week, she bought her mom another car and claims that it's from the earnings from iGenius now. So she's made so much in iGenius that now she's bought her mom her true dream car, which is a Range Rover. So obviously this is a t selling tactic that sh they like to use, that she likes to use. It's, it's one that we see a lot with MLMs and this group of girls really love to like flaunt their luxurious lifestyle. But it's funny because their president, Chad Garner, even said it himself that cars are depreciating assets. So if you're somebody that works for like a financial education service, which they claim to be, why would you buy a luxury vehicle if it's a depreciating asset? Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, who, who cares what somebody drives, right? I mean, in fact, if we truly are a company that teaches people how to be financially educated, then um, you know, one of those things we would teach is that, you know, cars are a depreciating asset and actually not a good investment. And so if somebody's not driving a flashy car, that's actually probably uh, a sign that they're using the information that we provide. He said it himself. So look, I didn't say it, he said it, but it does make you wonder. It's like, hmm. But yeah, they push the luxurious lifestyle. They push it hard, okay? But you know, it makes me think because it's like, okay, so you you were at Monet and it was such a lucrative and amazing opportunity that they were pushing for years and years join my thing and they were pushing it literally up until the week that they switched over by the way join monate join monate hair care biz you're gonna make six figures blah, blah blah and then they leave if it's so great why are you leaving you know what i mean like why would you leave it, may it just makes you wonder but yeah the transition from monate to igenius did not come without its fair share of drama and this is according to them um, i guess a bunch of monate distributors like uh, right before they left i guess they like shut down the, the group chats that they had with their downline and like completely ghosted them and nobody could really contact them and they were all kind of hearing things here and there that people might be leaving and then all of a sudden they all announced that they've left and um, the Monet girls like went ballistic and they started to like send them hateful messages and they're like, F you, why would you leave without telling anybody, blah, blah, blah. So this is all according to them, by the way, and this is gonna appear in the reality TV show that we're gonna watch. <laughs> the drama unfolds in the show. It's ironic because, you know, I just wanna point this out. In a lot of the spiels, especially in like the beauty and fitness MLM space, you'll see a lot of this like, sisterhood and I get to work with my best friends every day, sisters for life, like stuff like that. It's all fake. I mean, it's so, so, so all fake because once they left, they were no longer best friends anymore and everybody turned on them. <laughs> and uh, I guess in MLMs, no one's true friends until you stop making the money. And a lot of people who have left MLMs 
will tell you that. So I just want to make that point, just want to make that point. But yeah, nobody knows for sure why they left on eight for iGenius. My speculation is that one of them probably got poached from somebody at iGenius, like one of the higher ups and was like, you can get in on the ground level and make all this money, blah, blah, blah. If you guys all switch over, you'll be in sooner than you were in in Mon 8, you know? They probably realized that there was nowhere to go in Mon 8 because at some point you kind of become stagnant and you can't really go up any further, especially if you didn't get in first, you can't really overtake anybody. So that's just my speculation, especially because this group of people does not seem to care about crypto, Forex, <laughs> financial education, helping people, like, you know what I mean? So anyway, all of this is to introduce the fact that we're watching this MLM reality show. So WFAB created their own YouTube channel where they're uploading this self-produced reality style TV show. It's complete with behind the scenes of Boss Babe Life. It's one-on-one -on -one interviews like Jersey Shore style. There's drama and there's a whole lot of wealth flaunting, which we will definitely see. Let's jump into the reality show. <laughs> oh Jesus God, here we go. <laughs> I just want to make a quick disclaimer before I watch this that I do not want anyone to reach out to anybody from this video. I don't want anybody to message anybody from this video. Nobody go harass anybody from this video. I do not condone that. Please, please, please. Let's just keep it about the MLM, all right? It's always what it's been about. Looking at the certain strategies that people do to try to reel people in. Just let's leave it about that, all right? So without further ado, I introduce you to WFAB Lifestyle Episode 1. people <laughs> good morning hello beautiful people i am matilda but you can call me tilt aka the lebanese queen that's a good one i am the passionate one out of the group as you can tell i'm loud um i would hope everybody would be passionate <laughs> <laughs> in the group. I feel like this actually, if, if they were not in an MLM, like let's just picture a world where they're not in an MLM and like scamming people every day. This would actually not be a bad idea. Like to do kind of a YouTube series of like reality TV show, everybody's like, if they were doing a legitimate business, like let's just say the Real Housewives of Etsy or something like that, this would actually be a creative and cool idea. And the production level is actually pretty good. It's just bad because as we know, iGenius is no good. I'm very out there. I've always just been like, if I want it, I have to go get it. That's, that's the type of people I like to surround myself with. You know, action takers, people who like to execute what they want. And, and that's really what just fuels me. I do not allow people to project their insecurities onto me because, you know, they feel some type of way about themselves. And when they're around me, they're like, oh, she makes me feel some type of blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't care. Don't let anyone tell you who the fuck you are. Because when you do, they will fit you into the small box that they live in. And you can't afford to live in a small box. You're too big for that. You're too cute for that. You're too smart for that. Friends, I haven't worked out in like 10 years. I showed up dressed. This is about as good as it gets. I gotta prepare for my workout. And we'll just do a rotation. Five exercise, three times. And I have a timer. Before being into network marketing, I was actually like dancing a lot and I was working out a lot and I worked at a gym and I was working out five to six times a week. It's important to work out and have that certain daily method of operation. I'm a very organized person. The schedule we had, I kind of imposed my schedule on the girls. Work out! <laughs> 
So hey guys, my name is Sabrina, aka the social media girl, aka your motivational queen, aka the director of W5 Radio Now. That's me. Excuse me, I'm just gonna have some Red Bull. Like I haven't slept in like over 24 hours, so let me just look. Like, <laughs> you notice they all have the W on there? Well, that's gonna take care of the schedule. I make sure everybody's on top. I make sure everybody's back into momentum. I'm annoying. I am loud. Which Sabrina do you want today? <laughs> that could be a lot. Of things. I like to annoy people. This is what I do for a living on top of investing, trading, and making money. This is what I do part time. Um, so, yeah. This one over here, she only works out for the public. This is one of the main girls, by the way, like one of the leaders. So, I, like, I was trying to figure out what the downline is. So, she's like, pretty close up there. It's like her and one other girl. So I'll show you who the other girl is. I'll tell you who it is when she comes out. I farted. I farted because I'm nervous. <laughs> don't put that in. It's okay, you can put it in. Okay. That's Dre, like that's Dre right there. But you know what, my first don't smell because I'm vegan. What's up y'all, my name is Dre. No comment. The energy queen, because no matter what training I go on, no matter what event I go to, I always bring that energy. And I'll probably make you laugh, okay, because I'm a little bit of a jokester. I love to laugh, I love to make people laugh. In W5, I like to look at myself as like the engineer, because they got all these great ideas, but I'm the one who executes them. I'm the systems person, I'm the numbers person. My brain is like a whole Excel sheet. So I always say, like, without me, she will fall apart. She was in money as well. Where are you guys going, friends? Outside. 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 We're coming out tonight. Yes, yes, you are. are. It's cold. I don't do cold. You can't pick me up. <laughs> We're going outside. Let's go. 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 I don't have a jacket. Yes. I don't have a jacket. Yes. I Daniela Marie. A lot of people know me as that modern day hippie. A lot of my friends always call me that. Fun facts that people I feel like don't really know about me is I'm very musically inclined. I've been singing, I play multiple instruments. Like this feels like a blind date or something. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, can somebody please start talking about maybe crypto or <laughs> Like anything, there's been one girl who's mentioned investing so far. That's it. Like throughout my whole entire life. I'm such a tomboy. I'm into sports, like. Spoiler alert, it's because no one cares about investing. <laughs> All that like roughness, toughness, but you would never really think that. The very kind of quiet person when you first meet me, but I do have that like select few people where I'm extremely extroverted, crazy, outgoing. I am that girl that shows people like that, that they can do it too. Okay friends, what is the plan for content? So no more fight! You know. Did you just throw <laughs> snow at me? <laughs> they seem to like each other, that's good. They like each other until one of them leaves and then they don't like each other anymore. That's how it always goes. <laughs> and we're right in their choice. Oh. Don't need another broken elbow. Drama. Now that's real. Do I go? This is the main girl. Just so everybody knows, this is the head honcho, okay? Top of the upline. She's the one that got her mom the car and then got her another car. She's at the top of like the upline and then everybody's below her. And she was, this, it was the same way of money. I am Jasmine Elizabeth. I am your favorite bougie coach, okay? And I'm a visionary. I can see things 10 steps ahead before anybody else. And I think that that has really helped a lot with the growth of WFAB. Bougie and bossy, right? Bougie and bossy. Bougie and bossy, okay. I've heard this one time where you are not a boss unless you put somebody else in a position to become a boss. And I feel like that's what I'm mainly passionate about with everything that I do in my life. I wanna put people in a position to win. I love to express myself in a way where people can, can really see my point of view, right? So. so she just mentioned that she's a bougie, she's the bougie queen and like in a, some of the sales calls I watched, which I'm not gonna bore you guys with, 
Um, she was kind of talking about like, I became network marketing because I really wanted to afford like luxury bags and things like that. There's sort of a dichotomy with what she's portraying and, and doing and pushing and what being financially smart is. Like buying luxury items, especially in today's day and age, is not something that anybody needs. But like that's what's reeling people in is like her portrayal and all these girls portrayal, you know, all of this wealth and this luxurious lifestyle and like traveling and blah, blah, blah. And I feel like if somebody truly wanted to financially educate, it would be something more along the lines of like what Dave Ramsey teaches, agree or disagree. He has a lot of good points about paying off your debt and living minimally and simply rice and beans is, is, is like the thing that he tells everybody to do um and like kind of with what we were talking about earlier with like the car being a depreciating asset it's kind of the same thing where it's like okay being bougie it doesn't really make sense when you're trying to sell financial education or like help people save money if you truly wanted to help people save money you would be kind of telling people all right don't buy stuff right now like don't go buy luxury bags don't go buy a luxury vehicle that's how i know for sure that this whole thing is just like it's not genuine and authentic and that they don't really care about like the i genius business they just are kind of taking advantage of getting in early and like being able to reel people in on this like new opportunity because of that sort of dichotomy there right so anyway take my phone because this needs to be recorded everything needs everything guys make sure that everything gets recorded okay and something about me is I'm creative. Like I, I am always just an explorer. I'm always looking at, listening to music, li looking at videos. Like how can I make my vision become a reality? Make sure you get the shoe. Babe, yeah. Can you make a shisha? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, that, 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 that's all I want. That's yeah. all I want. I'm, I'm okay. leaving. That's all I want. Uh oh. It's about to go down. Natural. So hi, my name is Charlie. I'm 21 years old, and you know, usually when people see me for the first time, they all think that I'm super shy. But don't get twisted, okay? I'm always watching and sometimes judging. But no, for real, I just have a lot of energy. I love being, and you know, um, I do a lot of facial expression, but you will get used to it. Anyways, at the end of the day, everybody loves me, and I, I love like good vibes. I love like partying, but you know, working out also. Guess what? 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 I am not a girl. Oh no, you guys! This is what I'm saying. Like now that we know what a scam I genius is, it's like, oh no, somebody paid fifteen hundred dollars. Oh my god, they just lost so much money. Hey guys, so my name is Melody. I'm twenty two years old, and a little bit about me. Listen, I'm just that average girl. Every morning I wake up at 6, okay? I read, meditate, journal every morning, do my affirmation, write down my goals. Everybody does that, right? 7, 3, 8. I do not do that. <laughs> I do not do that. <laughs> yeah, I do, right? I make money. Yeah, yeah. I'm good at that, making money. And another thing that I have to say that might cause a problem. Freak. Okay, if I see girls messing around and not cleaning after they're cooking, it might cause problems. Okay. Just, I just want to mention, still no mentions of crypto investing, like not hearing a ton about that. <laughs> Whenever you're ready for your intro. Can I have my champagne first, but I can't do this without my mimosa. Where's my mimosa? Okay, so. My name is Alicia Armstrong. 
I'm a queen and a boss. When I speak, people listen. I don't demand attention, I command attention. There's a difference. Let me just okay. Woo. the crown. Are we almost done? I keep it 100 at all times, and people respect and appreciate that. I feel like she's reading off of like, you know like those old Tumblr quotes? I feel like she's like reading off of those. Like, yeah, like success doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. Like stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you gotta be a beauty and a beast. <laughs> like, okay. When your friend loves you and she cooks for you, Hi, my boo. Hi. What are you making? making? Some Venezuelan arepas. Venezuelan style. Oh. Wow, that looks so bad. The world has a lot of heart. Those look really good. Those look like really good. What's poppin'? My name is Zurich, also known as the fashionista of investing. Cause you know I'd be coming through with them looks. Wait, wait, wait. Well, finally somebody's mentioned investing. At least we have a little bit of knowledge about what they're doing here. How's my hair? How's it? It's good, it's good. Sure? Yeah. Also a wellness reina. I've been a plant-based chef for over two years. Yes. I'm a mommy and soon to be wifey, just waiting on the ring. I've been an entrepreneur for over 10 years and you know, coming from a low income family, something that has been instilled in me from young is that hustler mentality. I'ma always go for it and always figure it out. So we are about to eat arepas. Mine looks a little bit different. Cause this is the first meal. I want you guys to pay attention to how many phones are out. <laughs> Base style over here. Hey. But um, so in your plate, you have tuna, uh, butter, and cheese. Enough for two arepas. I made like two for everybody. So I'm going to explain to you how to stuff them, and then you guys can give me your reaction. Okay. Okay, yes. so take your arepa. So You're going to cut it open. Oh. Like in, look, in here, and then cut around. Oh, in where? A little bit hard, but, <laughs> but you cut it all the way. <laughs> yeah. It's hot. Like, try to leave it a little bit open. Okay, hold on. We got this one. Really now good. you're gonna grab the butter and butter it up. Wow. <laughs> this is butter? Yeah. Yeah. Vegan butter, guys. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna put the tuna inside and then the cheese. Tuna? Mmm. <laughs> nothing like some hot tuna and cheese. Oh my god. I don't know what to do with this. Stuff it up. This. I want to try the vegan ones too. Want <laughs> <laughs> to try this? Chicken. It's yeah. a type of chicken. Oh. Vegan. Okay. Okay. And then everybody's ready to take their bite. Yeah. They need to oh, Jasmine! Jasmine took the first bite. She did not wait. <laughs> 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 it looks too good. And it's dripping all over my tummy. I need yeah. it to go in my tummy. Okay, oh my here. Zurich takes the win. Like she can come over anytime. Okay, because. I don't like to cook, but she's a really good chef, and I need her to come over. I'm a vegan, but I'm a lazy vegan. I'm a vegan, but I'm a Uber Eats vegan. You understand what I'm saying? It's a little different. She's like a real vegan. She's like the real ones. I already know this is gonna be bomb because the I amount of like one breakthroughs one. I've yeah. had with her cooking this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> she said breakthroughs. <laughs> That's okay. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, hell yeah. How you know it's a good arepa, it's when you get drips yeah. all down Yeah, your that's literally what's happening with me right now. <laughs> wow. It's a messy one, clearly, yeah. but it's a good one. Mm -hmm. You know the food is good when I'm dancing. I do like my chicken and like my meat, so it was a change, but I liked it. It was good. My girl shows it up. Honestly, like I'm a meat eater, okay? But 100%, I could f*** with her shit all day. Okay, next time. Bro, you're never gonna believe who texted me. What? It's the audacity for me, seriously. Like, like I'm triggered. I, I'm literally triggered. You're willing to drag my whole reputation, my whole business, uh, which ultimately takes the food off my table, like you were saying, like that, like some, like we could have never recovered from that. The most anxiety, bro. Yeah. The most anxiety I've had in, in more than two years. All right, well, they've left us on a cliffhanger, so we're gonna have to watch 
part two, episode two in the next video and it should be good. Um, hopefully, you know, maybe in episode two, there'll be a little bit more maybe about the business. <laughs> Maybe some more about the business, maybe? I don't know, but um, yeah, that, that was just kind of like an introduction episode to like all the girls that are in WFAB. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one, so I appreciate if you stuck around to the end, I appreciate that. I just wanted to quickly mention that I would not have been able to make this video if it were not for Behind MLM. It's like a database of all things that happen. Behind the scenes in MLMs, like lawsuits, it's it's updated regularly. Would not have been able to find half of this stuff and of this information if it not were not for that website. So I highly recommend recommend go check it out. I'm going to link it down below. I'm going to link some relevant articles as well if you want to read up more about iGenius. I really wanted to make this video in depth because I know that there's going to be people here soon that have a family member or a friend who signs up for iGenius and they need the resources and the tools to be able to tell them to get out and say, hey, look, this endow thing, not going to work. A lot of good investment, very risky. Like, look over here. There's the crypto elite and they had this happen and this happened and this happened. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you can use these tools and this information to get people people out of MLMs and explain to them and use it to help other people. If you guys have any other clips that you want to send me, send them to my email. Email is probably the best way to get me to see them. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in my next video. All right. Peace.